Okay, boys and girls, it's time for a video of this clutch system I've been working on. I copied this design off a picture of a clutch for a drag saw. The picture itself has to be a hundred years old and I used the picture and my own engineering experience as guides and made this clutch. And I'm going to turn the clutch on and turn the clutch off and, and show you the operation of it. The clutch is disengaged as it sets. I'm going to put my hand up on the lever and engage it. There we have it engaged. There we have it disengaged. There we have it engaged. There we have it disengaged. Uh, one of the things I've learned is you can't go halfway with this handle. When you start it to move, you have to move it right up to the stop. Otherwise, nothing really happens. But when you move it the full amount of swing in both directions, the clutch works marvelously. I'm going to engage it again. And there we are, the clutch is engaged and it's driving the smaller sprocket. And now I'm going to disengage it. So I'm quite pleased with the operation of this. The only thing that, if there's a fault in this, is that there are some very small pieces in it. Now I've arranged it so the main shaft is a half inch diameter. Uh, most of my small engines are 3 8 diameter, but I didn't want to try and scale the clutch down to that size because I don't think I could have accurately made the pieces at that small size. But for a half inch shaft, I don't think it gets too much better than that. I'm, I'm very pleased and I hope you enjoyed the video.